Okay, now let's focus on graphing exponential functions in HK form. So first, let's look at what we mean by HK form by looking at an example. Let's say we have y is equal to 10, 2 to the x minus 3 plus 4. If you notice, the general form is y is equal to a, b, x minus h plus k. And this is our just our basic hk form. If you noticed, this is just y is equal to a, b to the x, the exponential growth or decay form, except for you have an h and a k here. The h, of course, moves it left and right. And the k will move it either up or down. So it's just two transformations. So if we look at this problem, y is equal to 10, 2 to the x minus 3 plus 4. What we notice is this is the same as y is equal to 10, 2 to the x, except for it shifted 3 in the positive direction left to the right, and it shifted up in the positive direction 4. So let's go ahead and start graphing that. So we have y is equal to 10, 2, x minus 3, plus 4. And the very first thing that I do here is identify the basic form. Or if you might want to call it, you might want to call it the parent function. So the parent function here is the function before we um, have the hk transformation. So that's y is equal to 2 to the x. And what I do at this point is I sketch that. And even if I don't sketch it f formally in my head, I have a sense of what this looks like. This is from the four forms that we looked at before. Here we have this is 10, 0, 10 there. It grows exponentially in the positive direction. Here's the asymptote. The asymptote is y is equal to 0. This point is 0, 10, and it grows exponentially. The second thing is I identify the new asymptote and at one new point. So the asymptote is y equals 0. Let's think about what happens to the asymptote. When we move it left and right, if you move it left and right, the asymptote does not change. When we move it up and down, it does. So that's the key to these problems, is the asymptote changes. Only with shifts up and down. So in this case, the new asymptote is y is equal to 4. We can also find a, a new point. Well, it, the point, if we follow the point 0, 10, the point 0, 10 would move right 3 and up 4. So the x moves 3, so that goes to 3, 14. So that's one more new point. And the third step is find another point. So the way I do is I choose an x, since it, if we look here it's growing exponentially, I choose an x that's larger than 3. Or you could choose the x-intercept, it wouldn't matter. Um, that's up to you. So one way to do it would be to find the y-intercept. At the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So then that's y is equal to 10 times 2 to the minus 3 plus 8. I'm sorry, plus 4. If we think about what's going on here, right, it's 0 minus 3 is a minus 3. That's 1 8, so that's 10 times 1 8 plus 4. Since we're graphing, I might do that as a decimal. 
So I might just go 10 times 1 eighth, or 10 divided by 8, plus 4. 5.25. So the intercept here is going to be 0, 5.25. And then the fourth thing is I'll use some graph paper and I'll just graph it. So what I have here is I know the general shape from the parent function. I have the new asymptote and now two points. So let's go ahead and graph that. You have y is equal to 10, 2x minus 3, plus 4. You have the asymptote, which is y equal 4. You have points, two points. You have 3 comma 14. And you have 0 comma 5.25. Let's get a ruler out. The thing we have to remember with these graphs is we have to be careful with our scale because sometimes the number will be quite large. Here the asymptotes y equals 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Draw that as a dotted line. That's a dotted line because that's actually not part of the graph. It's just an asymptote. And label it as such. Asymptote y is equal to 4. Let's label a point. Let's label 3 and 14. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Roughly there. And 0 and a little bit bigger than 5 there. And now we have the general. I'm going to do it in red for fun. We have the general shape. Looks like that. And that's how you graph an HK form. Let's do another example. Let's do y is equal to 5, 0 0.7, x minus 2, plus 3. The parent function is y is equal to 5, 0 0.7 to the x. I know generally what that looks like. That's exponential decay something like this. The asymptote is y is equal to 0. This point right here is 0, 5. Now I'm going to find the new asymptote. The new asymptote, well the asymptote was y equals 0. Moving it left and right 2 doesn't change anything, but moving it up 3 does, so the new asymptote is y equals 3. One new point The point zero 0.05 will go right 2 and up 3. So now that point will be 2 comma 8. Find another new point. I'm going to find, hmm, let's find the y-intercept. So let's set x equals 0. You get 5, 0 0.7 to the minus 2 plus 3. Pretty complicated, but we have a calculator, so that won't be a problem. So that's 0.7 raised to the negative 2. And then you times that by 5. And then you add 3. So you get about 13.2. So the second point is 0, 13.2. Now you simply use these three to graph it. So what do we do? Our steps were first we identify the parent function and the general shape. Then we identify the new asymptote and two new points. If we want to graph that, The 
asymptote is y equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, one point is two eight. One two, one two three four five six seven eight. The other point is zero and thirteen. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. You already know what the general shape is, so with those two points you'll be able to figure out more or less what the graph looks like. It looks like this, that, we can compare that to what we already know about it, and that in fact is the graph of 0 0.7 x minus 2 plus 3.